Hello crochet friends, welcome back. It's assembly day for our little llama. So we're gonna get ourselves started. We have a few steps, but I'm gonna work you through them all and we're just gonna finish this guy up. So if you remember we had um, on the body, we have the tail on the back here and we had the opening for the neck, right? And we just kind of stuffed our stuffing in there and got it all straight. What we're going to do is we're just going to take the neck of the llama and do a bit of a whip stitch around here and get it all straight and attached. So it's gonna be kind of furry. See how we had made all our fur around here? Um, it's gonna be furry, so it might be a little challenging to see, but we're gonna get ourselves started. So try to position your head on the body um, where you think it would face forward. So see, you wanna make sure that it's facing forward. Um, so grab your yarn and figure out what stitch to start on. So I think I'm gonna start about here and I'm gonna enter that stitch. We wanna get it good and secure, right? We don't want the head popping off. That would, that would not be helpful, would it? So that first stitch is kind of important because we wanna make sure that we're straight. From there, we should be okay. So I've got them on there, and now I'm gonna just pull up, see how we have each, each stitch there from crocheting, and I'm gonna pull up there, and then I'm gonna go on to the next one here. See it? I'm just gonna keep doing this all the way around as far as I can reach, all right? Um, and just, I mean, even if you needed to skip one, it's okay, it's not a big deal, but we're gonna just try to get this head as secure as possible. So keep whip stitching all the way around, and then we'll knot it off at the end. That will attach the neck to the neck, right? Neck portion to the neck portion, and then we can move on from there to work on his ears. Okay, so attach your head. Here we go. Okay, I have my head on, all attached. He got a little squished, so I'm gonna have to fluff him up after, because the poor little thing, I was just holding on to him so tight trying to get it nice and straight and secure at the same time. Up next is our ear. I have placed one ear so far, you can see it here. Um, they need to be close to the top of the head between the first and second row of the fleece and about one to two stitches between each other, crochet stitches. So we're gonna place this one. Um, these, I, I tried to put one on just to show you, to give you gauge, um, but these are not hard. It's just, if you're not sure where you wanna put it, you can always pin them on first. So you kinda want his ears standing up like that in the middle of his head. So if you need to pin it, that's, you know, that's a good idea too, just to give you an idea of how it's going to look. Um, because that always, you know, just like with sewing gives us gives us some stability to look at, right? And, and gauge how things are gonna be. So, sew your little ear on there with a little whip stitch, just getting all the ends um, and, and get it on there nice and straight where you want it, knot it off, okay? Here we go. Okay, ears are on. I think they're good. I like their positioning. Um, hopefully yours are going well too. I think they look cute. He's so cute. Okay, up next is our legs. I've done three just to give you an idea. They need to be nice and close to each other. I know we put the straws inside for stability, but if you have them nice and close to each other, it will help him stand better. Um, I, he's three-legged right now, so he's not standing well at all. So. Get them nice and close um, up near the front of the body for the first two. You can see I have a few stitches. Um, I have about three pieces of the fleece here in between uh, the front and the back legs. And I think that that's gonna be good. So hopefully that would work for you also. Um, again, you could pin them all on and get your positioning, whatever is easier for you. But here is my other back leg. So I'm gonna go in that same section there, right between the fleece, right? And I'm going to find um, a stitch up nice and close there to my um, other leg. And I'm going to just whip stitch this around and attach it right there, okay? So just see, you can find your stitches just like that. Pull it through and then go back in the stitch over here on the body, okay? So keep doing that all the way around, oops, for the leg and um, knot it off. 
secure it good, right? We wanna make sure all these little pieces are secured good, especially if you're gonna use this for a child. Um, so let's get those all, that little leg on there. If you haven't done your others, it's okay, don't worry. Just wanted to demonstrate how these all go on for you. Okay, and then we'll meet up next for the tassels and the blanket, here we go. Okay, so all my legs are on, my ears are on. It's a little squishy still, that's okay. We're still working on them. Um, next up is the tassels, and we have options with this. I did glue my little knots just to, you know, so they won't come undone. You can sew them on to the harness. I am doing hot glue. So, I mean, like I said, options. Always can do what you'd like to do. I'm gonna cut this little piece off of the tail here and show you what I did. I just took my trusty little hot glue gun and I put some, well actually I put it on here. Um, I put a little dab right in that corner of the harness. I hope you can see that. Um, and then I took my little tassel and just right where the knot of the, top of the tassel is, I put it on there to dry. Now it says for the third tassel, it goes between his ears. Um, I don't know if I want mine there. I'm thinking maybe on here, I'm not sure. I'm going to think on that. Um, first I'm gonna do the blanket because I'm not sure if I want it there. So, you know, because we always say work of art, we do it the way we wanna do. The blanket also, you can sew the blanket on if you'd like. You can secure it with the same color as the fleece on the body. I think I'm going to do just a couple little dots of hot glue. Um, I'm gonna, first I want to like fluff this up a little bit cause I got him so squished up trying to do my work, you know, holding him and squeezing him and manipulating, especially putting that neck to neck opening area done. So if you want your little blanket and it's gonna go across here like this, I don't wanna get it even. So I'm, what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking of putting a dot here where the knot is, right? And then same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna hold it to glue it right here. I'm using the glue gun that I wanted um, in my last project. It's a good one. I like it. It's not super duper hot, which I think works better on the yarn. And there are some little stringies, but it, it doesn't seem to have as many strings as my other hot glue gun. So I like this one. Okay, so he's got his two tassels. He's got his blanket on. And I don't know if I want to even use this last tassel. It, in the picture they kind of had it like up here between his ears I kind of like him just the way he is I'm gonna put that aside for now because I think he's kind of cute just like this so next we're going to do his little nose and mouth kind of area here so get your black floss ready and um, thread your needle and we'll work on that next Okay, I've got my embroidery floss and I made my knot and I went up right through the middle here, okay? Right through the middle where we started our work that way. See, I can push the knot in there and it won't be visible, okay? And I'm gonna cut that little tail there. Oops, sorry, I hit the camera. Hope I didn't make anybody seasick. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that, right? And let's see here. You wanna make a Y shape. That's the shape we're going for um, to get the nose here. So we can always remove those later. You can also try and pull it up here a little. All right, so. Wanna go like this into here and then come back up the other side over here. Trying not to get all your little pieces, your stuffing, all that good stuff that's gonna be in the way, right? And then go back in the center. We're gonna come down here for the straight part of the Y. Okay. And I mean, this is just gonna be probably a lot of trial and error. Getting it just the way you like it, you might wanna go over it a couple of times. Sometimes you wanna loosen it, you know? Um, but just 
to give it that little bit of a look of a nose and a little part of its mouth. Okay. Let's see how this is going to be. And I'm going to cut those other strands. All right, that looks pretty good. Let me trim this up, finish this up, and then we'll be done with him. I'm going to nod off. Keep going with that. Okay, how did that come out for you? Mine did good. I like it. I actually used all the strands of the floss. You could split it and make it two strands. I wanted it thicker. I felt like the eyes were really dark and prominent, so I wanted the nose and the little snout area to also look just as prominent. So that's it. That's the llama. I think he's really cute. I like his little tail. Um, I think he's got lots of cute little features about him. I did leave off that third tassel. Use yours if you'd like. Make as many as you'd like if you want more, you know? So it's up to you, whatever you want to do. But this is the llama project. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. If you enjoyed this and you'd like to see other projects that we work on, give us a like and subscribe. So you'll see those when they come up but this has been a wonderful journey and I've enjoyed doing this with you so thank you for being here thank you and have a joyful day